Today we're going to demonstrate how to replace the TS1 testing screen hydraulic pump. The Gilson testing screens are rugged tough machines that use a quick acting hydraulic pump system to clamp and release the screen trays within the unit. If you find your screen trays are loose within the separator during testing or you can't clamp them tight enough for testing, the hydraulic pump may need to be replaced. Before replacing the hydraulic pump, contact Gilson Technical Support to see if refurbishing the pump, replacing the O-rings on the hydraulic cylinder, or a number of other solutions should be considered other than replacing the hydraulic pump. At this point, we've unplugged the testing screen, removed the top cover, unfastened the side cover, and removed the screen trays. Now, remove the clips holding the hydraulic lines. Next, unfasten the three bolts that hold the pump in place. To gain access to the rightmost bolt, rotate the 90 degree hydraulic fitting up. Mark the pump cover and pump so when it's reinstalled later, the pump cover will face in the correct position. Now, remove the pump cover and set it aside. Lift the pump out of the unit and drain the hydraulic fluid into a container for proper disposal. Now disconnect the hydraulic hose fittings at the cylinders. Make sure that you have rags in place to minimize spillage of hydraulic fluid. Once the hydraulic lines have been unfastened from the cylinders, move the pump and hoses to a workbench or other solid clean area to remove the hydraulic lines from the pump. Now we are ready to reinstall the new pump. Reinstall the hydraulic lines to the new pump. Return the pump to the testing screen. Affix the pump to the testing screen using the original bolts. Now reattach the lines at the cylinders and make sure to leave the fittings loose so you can bleed the lines later. Now refill the pump with hydraulic oil. Take care not to overfill. The oil level, when full, should be a quarter inch from the top. Replace the pump cover in the same orientation during its removal. Now bleed the hydraulic lines by working the handle on the pump as if we were clamping the screen trays. Observe the hoses at the cylinder fittings. As soon as fluid appears, tighten the fittings. Pull the pump handle to release the trays. Remove the pump cover again, noting its orientation as you did earlier. If necessary, refill any fluid needed to fill the pump reservoir to a quarter inch from the top. Next, reinstall the cover on the pump based on the alignment marks made earlier. An improperly installed pump cover will result in hydraulic fluid leaking out of the pump cover vent. Now, pump the hydraulic system to full pressure again to complete a final check for any hydraulic fluid leaks. Once you have confirmed there are no leaks, pull the pump handle to release the trays. Finally, install all hose clips, safety guards, and covers before returning the unit to operation. For any questions concerning replacing the pump on your Gilson testing screen or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson technical support team.